Good snowy morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, February 16th. I wanted to make a quick video explaining the uh, scavenger hunt activity. Um, I've started getting some responses. Some of you guys get up early and start working, and um, I just wanted to clarify the instructions a little bit. Uh, I've made the form editable, so if you have already turned in your video assignment, you should be able to get back to it and edit it if you need to change something. Um, so in the Google Classroom, you can see that today you have a YouTube scavenger hunt and then you have some book work to do on page 127 and 128. To, to open the assignment, you want to click on this banner that has the uh, clipboard and it explains to find a school appropriate video of something in slow motion. When you click on the form, it asks you for your name and your class period. So you would select that, fill, fill that in. And the reason that we're compiling these videos is because we talked yesterday in the videos that I recorded that um, when you are trying to identify um, transformation of energy, you want to think of what you are observing uh, in slow motion. It's easier to kind of identify what's happening if you can slow it down. So if you search for slow motion on YouTube, you get a lot of answers. A lot of things come up. Um, my, uh, example that I put on the, uh, weekly planner already was, tennis ball being served in slow motion. Uh, I think it was this one. So when you watch the video, you can see it's in regular slow motion and then they do what they call super slow motion. And when you watch this happening, we have two objects coming into contact with each other. If you watch the videos yesterday, you learn that that's mechanical energy. The racket is applying a force to the tennis ball and it's transferring its energy to the tennis ball. And you can see that a tennis ball has elastic properties. It goes from being a sphere shape to nearly flattened in the process. And then we know it's elastic potential energy because it wants to snap itself back into a sphere shape. Um, it does not stay flat. So you could start with just what you see in the video, um, or you could start with the person that is serving the ball. Um, but in this video, there are a few uh, energy transformations depending on where you start. If you just start with the tennis racket, it would be um, kinetic to mechanical to elastic potential to kinetic. Because the racket is in motion, that's kinetic. It comes into contact with the ball, that's mechanical. The ball compresses and then snaps back, that's the elastic potential. And then you can see, even though when a person swings the racket, the ball has already left. It has turned itself back into a spherical shape and in the process pushed away from the racket and is on its way across the court. So to, um, to put this on the Google form, you need to highlight the address. On a mouse, I'm gonna right click and select copy. On a Chromebook, you would need to click with two fingers at the same time. You would go to the Google form the same way that you found copy is the same way that you uh, will find the paste option. Um, I'm going to hit the space bar after the link. So uh, I know that it turns it into a link and then it says list the energy transfers separated by an arrow. Use dash dash sign, the greater than sign. This is telling you how to type an arrow. Okay, so we started with kinetic dash dash looks like a little arrow see kinetic mechanical dash, greater than elastic potential energy dash dash arrow kinetic and then you turn it in okay so that's what we're looking for today because it will add your answers to this form, which we're going to use tomorrow.